Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You're getting a little rough. You are now tuned in with Trophy. Go Trophy. We can laugh, crack jokes, be open. Go Trophy. Only with Trophy. Good morning, Tro Squad. Look who has on real clothes, y'all. I got on a whole entire dress. Yes, we're about to go to my doctor's appointment. It is. It was supposed to be uh tomorrow, but they moved it to today because of hurricane. Hurricane. What's the name of the hurricane? What's the name of the hurricane, Terrell? Huh? Death. Death. They moved it to today because I think tomorrow is when the hurricane is supposed to actually hit us. Or that's when they um, project that it'll hit us. So they just want to be safe and uh, just get everything out the way. Because I know um, I was trying to make the appointment for Travel for his two-week appointment, which is on Friday. And I was like, can I just make it for today? And they was like, no, it has to be after his um, actual two weeks. Because I was trying to make it for today or tomorrow. They said they're going to be close tomorrow too. So I guess it'll have to be next week so uh i'm about to just get the boys finish getting the boys ready um their dad is at the store getting some water i got some water yesterday a little bit but i guess he's just getting some more just to be safe uh because last time we had a hurricane you know now i don't know if it was last time but i know one time when there was a hurricane because we get hurricanes all the time here in houston the water was just cut off and the power was cut off for weeks so you just always have to be prepared and ready just in case so um yeah our appointment is at 12 it is 11:52, so we probably have to be out of this house by 11:20 with the boys and everything um travail is over here sleeping in his swaddle i'm about to put maybe a, a onesie i mean a um sleeper on him because he has to have, he can't wear his swaddle when he's in the car seat so what are you doing haircut haircut mcgee you're so handsome. Let's see if you'll show us. Terrell, where's the baby? Where's the baby? That's your belly, not baby. Baby, baby brother. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Uh, what? Hold on, it ain't in there no more now. Oh, by the way, y'all, I decorated, I mean, pff, I arranged the room. So we got the dresser over there. Oh, and the dresser's put together. The Ikea dresser I wanted. So I think I'm gonna change out the knobs. This dresser is huge and it has so much storage space. Like look, all of the towel, oh, not that one, it has a lot of blankets, but all of their towels and stuff, so much stuff can fit inside of these at the bottom. This dresser is amazing. And then the other crib is put together. The quality of this one is not as good. Like. This one has more of a glossy finish, but it's the same exact crib because I ordered it from Wayfair both times. But I like the setup of this way better than what I was going to do at first. Like put the two cribs over there because it just looks, it looks stupid. So um, I still have to put some pictures up and then their name sign is over there in that corner in that box right there. So I'll open it for you guys later so we can see what it looks like. Uh, and maybe their name signs can go right there. Some pictures can go right there. You know, so let's see what you're gonna wear and see what your brother's gonna wear. So I kind of separated their clothes. Um, Travel's clothes on this side, Terrell's clothes on this side. So I'm just gonna get a little sleeper for Travel, which he cannot fit any of this stuff, even though it's newborn. He's just a little, little munchkin. Terrell. touch him but don't throw stuff Travel is all dressed ready to go big time attitude I'm about to feed him though because he's obviously hungry the boys are ready to go Travel and Terrell reaching for snacks a uh, couple of y'all noticed that Travel has pacifier, even though I said we weren't gonna do it. He's just so calm with it. Terrell didn't like pacifiers at all. Like he would still cry 
even with the pacifier, so it was pointless, but Travel seems pretty content. So he's using the pacifier right now. I don't know how long it's gonna last. It's not gonna last that long. He's not gonna be walking around with no pacifier. But for right now, he's using the pacifier. This is the Advent kind that came from the hospital and I ordered a few more. Oh, it looked like he's trying to go to sleep. Um, so we're back home from the doctor. I didn't take y'all inside because it was just in and out. Um, <clears throat> she said my scar is, look at him. <gasps> we see you. Oh, my mirror is dirty. Hello. Walking around with a roller. You wanna weigh yourself? Let's see how much we weigh. Is it working? <laughs> Stay still, stay still, stay still, stay still. Don't move, don't move. Oh, 22, 22.8, big boy. But, um, but yeah, the doctor said that I lost 15 pounds. I think my, oh, that's my hair closet, y'all. It looks terrible. Throw. Oh, he trying to smell the candles. We was letting him smell it when we first got him. Look, watch. I got hair all over the place, like, look at this. So messy, I need to organize. Smelling it, you smelling it? Terrell. Why does he have to slam things? You better not break that. Smell it. Oh, you hear your show? Bye. Yeah, gone, gone. As I was saying, I lost 15 pounds. I think my highest weight was 173. 173, so is that 15 pounds? I'm 159 now, but she said 15 pounds, whatever. So, um, yeah, belly is there. I wonder if people see me, would they be like, she just had a baby, or would they be like, she's pregnant, or would it be like, she has a pooch, or would it be like, she needs to work out, or would it be like, <laughs> Okay, I can't think of nothing else to say. <laughs> I like this dress though, y'all. It make it my stuff. Like, ooh, I wish I could have these breasts the whole time for the rest of my life. My breastfeeding breasts, but they're gonna go away, unfortunately. <laughs> I wish they was like this, but really your girl is flat chested. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to come give y'all a little update. She checked Travel's circumcision because she's the one who did his circumcision. She said it looks good. Uh, we talked about birth control, which your girl is definitely getting on. Definitely. So, I'm trying to see if I'm going to get through the pill or if I'm going to do an implant. What do y'all think? Have, has anybody ever tried the um, the Nexplanon implant? Let me know down below what y'all thought about it. What was your experience with it? I don't know. Last time I had the little white tape. And then this time I had like a clear tape that was over it. And she took that out. It didn't hurt really. It was just like, you know, when you take off a band-aid. Um, but yeah, she says inflamed, it should go down. She said, I do have scar tissue. But the good thing is, to, she was saying that I should, they should have did my, um, cut higher. But I'm glad that it's lower because you can't really see it. Like, even if I have on a bikini, it's down there. But yeah, I just want to come give you an update. Get on. Okay. They're re rectangular. And it has your first and your middle name on there. Can you move? Move it. Move it. Thank you. Look at you. Can y'all see? Yeah, y'all can see. 
says Travail Ray. Oh, it looks so good, right? Uh, it doesn't match the cribs perfectly, but I think it'll do. Let me see how it looks if I just put it above his crib. And it's not heavy at all. And then this is Terrell's. Terrell O'Neill. T E R R E L L. Okay, that's about the right. Why well, look like that though? What the heck? T E R R E L L. Okay. That's good. I'm not going to put his above his crib because he'll climb up there. But this is. Okay, it looks good. I think once he goes up, it'll look good. Travels is right there above his crib. And then Terrell's is going to go on the other side. Looks nice. And it's like a blue color. A blue color. Maybe I can get them like navy blue sheets. If I get navy blue sheets, then it'll bring it out, make it pop. Look what Terrell built, y'all. He says he's a better builder than me, but I think I'm just a better parent. Bag up, my daddy. Bag up. <laughs> See, look, look, that's terrible parenting. He doesn't want his son to play with the blocks. He's too busy trying to build stuff. But I like to have the experience. Wow. Oh, what? <laughs> You gonna let him talk to you like that, Terrell? He like, well, eh, forget you then. <laughs> yeah, you wanna come to me, huh? See, I like to let you experience stuff. He just wants to have. You can tear it down, bro. Mm -hmm. Use that ball. You want it? There you go. I'm finished. Yeah. See, he, he don't even want to mess with it no more. You didn't spoil the fun. Today, whatever. Today we're cleaning up. This is my cleaning up hairstyle. Isn't it gorgeous? I got a little scrunchie. It's gorgeous, huh? So the house is a mess. I haven't really cleaned up, cleaned up in a while. Because before this, I was pregnant and then I was recovering from postpartum. So I'm going to try to do a real clean. I'm gonna try to clean up as much as I can today. So, I'm just gonna give y'all an overview of what we're working with. This is Terrell's room. I need to fold those clothes and then I just need to clean up all of this. Um, kitchen doesn't look too bad. Living room area. I'm gotta clean that up. And bedroom area. So, oh, and I'm gonna do the bathroom as well. So I guess we'll do like a fast forward type of thing and I'm about to try to clean up as much as possible while I have the energy. I, don't, I haven't been having pain or anything like that so I think I'm good. This is really bothering me. <laughs> whatever. No, it's not whatever. It is whatever. Whatever. I'm gonna forget about it. So uh, yeah. Oh, and if you guys look at my outfit before you say something, I have on, wait, let me show y'all. have on this band it's a different one from the one that at the hospital it goes up a little more so so it looks like and it like helps I think it helps compress a little higher and like once I'm starting to feel better because right now my um scar area is still sensitive so I have to wear this band all the way down here because it kind of helps support it and it makes it so that like the fabric from my underwear isn't rubbing against it so that's why i have to have the band on first and i put my underwear on over it because like i don't want too much friction it just it just feels sensitive so that's why i wear the band so low but pretty soon hopefully it's not going to be sensitive anymore then i could bring the band up and then i can do like more stomach compressing and i have like a, a waist trainer type of thing the keisha k or waist eraser so i think i'm gonna use that too but for right now, I'm just going to wear this, and that's why it's so low. So, when you guys see my little ensemble as I'm cleaning up, that's what it is. But, yeah, I'm about to get started. I got energy, so I'm about to use it productively. All right.
don't take it personal. I ain't lying. I ain't hiding. I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Mm. I'm on hiatus. Uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out. from his nap so time to pause on the cleaning up and I'm about to obviously breastfeed him and then use this so I'll be right back so y'all can see how much I collect so this is how much milk I got I usually get like at least three ounces how many ounces is this it's not even one ounce seriously whatever Travel is milk wasted he looks like a grown man to me, y'all. I don't know why. His facial features and everything, he just be looking so serious. He just looks so serious all the time. Like, don't he look like a grown man? <laughs> a grown man, baby. Why are you so serious? Why are you so serious? Wanna look at the camera? Wanna look at the camera? Say hello. Say hello. Hello, everybody. <laughs>
done cleaning up looks good in here and this is our master um um um, um bathroom the kids bathtub we're not gonna talk about that closet and then our room is somewhat clean Terrell and his shoes are always just there the living room looks clean daddy duties and i'm about to make some hot dog y'all some chili dogs Terrell is asleep, so it's just Terrell, Travel, and me that's up. If you never tried these type of hot dog buns, definitely try them, y'all. They're really good. They're like sweet and buttery. Delicious. If you guys mix these two together, you have the perfect at-home Arnold Palmer. I'm telling you, it's so good. Get a little bit of ice for your tea. I think I like to add more lemonade than tea. And then pour your lemonade. Perfect. Just perfect. Really? Anybody else like their hot dogs like this? Like, I have to have mine decked out. Onions, relish, mustard, ketchup, chili. Mmm. -hmm. And two random pieces of pizza that Terrell gave me. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'm about to end the vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. About to go to sleep. What time is it? It's 11.36, so that's good timing. Travel is right here laying down, but I know he's going to wake up because... I took him out of his swing and usually when I take him from his swing to his bed, he wakes up immediately. He's doing pretty good now though. This is his sleeping arrangement. He sleeps inside of his bassinet. I think I already showed y'all this. And his docketite. And um, he's been sleeping sideways. He doesn't really sleep on his back. I think my doctor said it was okay for him to sleep sideways. He sleeps pretty good sideways. And um, I switch him from one side. To the other side to hopefully help with um, balding because Travel slept on his back and he had Travel Terrell <laughs> slept on his back and he had that big ball spot so we're trying to prevent that and he sleeps pretty good sideways so it's all good um the sound that y'all hear right now is the sound machine sorry if it's loud I don't think it's that loud though it shouldn't be that loud um what else I want to show you guys our little um setup so this is our my setup on my side of the bed. So we got Travel's bassinet, and then over here we have the diaper pail and his um hamper, and then I have this monitor so I can look at my other son, my other baby. Can y'all see him? 
I don't know. Can't really see them that good. And then right here, I have this little bucket. And this is like a little on-the-go diaper changing thing. We got wipes. We got the Aquaphor. We got the diapers. I think his dad put a size 1 on him. But he's been wearing newborn. We're trying to see, like, is he newborn in size 1. And then I keep me a bottle of water over here. Hand sanitizer. Sound machine. And then my hacker for whenever I pump through, throughout the night. And then throughout the night, I just um, clean it out transfer the milk to another container and then put it right back here again and wait for the next feeding this is supposed to go inside of here but yeah i'm about to go ahead and go to sleep it's been a long day but i feel like i've been productive i keep saying i'm gonna do my nails and i just haven't done my nails whatever i'm busy being a mom a breastfeeding mom like y'all i forgot how freaking oh I forgot how like breastfeeding is such a job it's like a real job you get so drained like as I feed Travell and he's like feeding I feel like instantly all my energy just drains out of my body it's crazy like and then if he does his cluster feeding like sometimes he'll eat and then like 20 minutes later he wants to eat again and then like 30 minutes later he wants to eat again and I just feel so freaking drained i forgot it's like a really a job to breastfeed and i'm gonna be doing this for at least a year i'm gonna try to do it for a year with Ter terrell i stopped at seven months because i got pregnant that's, that's why i think my um my milk supply started slowing up anyway because i got pregnant but this time around i'm gonna do it for at least a year what else i want to say i don't know we haven't really talked face to face in a while oh y'all we reached a hundred thousand subscribers yes i haven't had a chance to say thank y'all thank y'all so much for a hundred thousand subscribers that's crazy like oh my goodness i think right now we're like at a hundred and one 101,000 subscribers so that is amazing thank y'all so much i was gonna do like a big 100k giveaway but i think i'm just gonna like continue to do like small giveaways on channel because i have like a few already planned and lined up and i think that'll be more authentic because like you have to actually watch the vlogs to know about the giveaways instead of me just making like a 100k giveaway video you know and then people just coming just so they can you know into the giveaway if you know what i mean so y'all know what i mean y'all know what i mean like is i like to give stuff to my true subscribers so thank y'all again for 100k i can't wait till my plaque comes i'm gonna be like legit youtuber when it happens so i'm about to go ahead and end this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you guys so much for all of your support as always thank y'all for just everything like y'all are the best Cho squad is amazing i love reading y'all's comments y'all always so positive in the comment section i be trying to get to everybody as always i love you guys and i'll see you guys next time bye